so much for supporting this evening here tonight. We have Mr. Gulab Singh, who's going to be making a presentation for briefly for about five to eight minutes, talking about insight-driven marketing. He represents SAP while he makes this presentation. Can we hear it out loud for Mr. Gulab Singh, please? Are you happy with that? Yes, I think so. Yeah, okay, cool. I would think so too. consistent and relevant experience regardless of the channel or the device throughout the customer journey in real time. That's pretty much a long uh, sentence but if you actually look at the core of it, the contextual, consistent and relevant, there are three important aspects which actually go into the making of a brand. Now why does it matter? It matters because customers are in control of the relationship. They define or they determine how will they engage with the brand, where will they engage with the brand, and how they will engage with the brand. They are in absolute control. We all know that the traditional rules of marketing for sales and uh, service and everything is changing, and probably nobody knows better than the you know, audience in this room. The journey, the customer journey has become only channel, it is really complex, and that is also primarily because of the socioeconomic conditions which is changing. Now, these factors impact uh, your everything. The forecast, the stock price, the top-line growth brand, and everything. It, it impacts the existence of a company, if I may say so. And if you actually have to put a manager as to how these things are changing, you have to put a number because I know that people relate to numbers better than just making statements. So, 79% of customers spend at least 50% of the total shopping time researching online products. And no wonder they are much more aware of the products. And in many cases, they are more aware of the, the product than the salesman. 53% of customers have bad in-store purchase due to negative online sentiments. And probably we all have our own experiences. When we are buying something on Amazon or, or on Flickr or something, we, we are we sure about buying something, but then we see some online reviews and then we probably think that maybe it's not worth it, we change it. And if you actually look at the number, 53% is pretty high. They are better informed, as I said. There are many cases when somebody has walked into the you know, car showroom and the kind of conversation they have driven with the salesman is something that is it's totally unbelievable or something like that. They know about the product, they know about the reviews, they know about the pros and cons, and they probably have made up their mind before they come in. So the salesperson obviously has to be pretty much an updated on terms of what is happening. These numbers are pretty much things about the changing trends that we see. Now it leads to the problem as to how do we how do we manage this customer experience? And if you actually look at the old approach, I know it was pretty much linear A to B to C to D in terms of awareness, interest, desire, and access, they have changed and they have changed dramatically. And we have tried to actually put the whole uh, this complex process of decision making when, when we talk about customer, how do they actually perceive the decision making? It's it's a it's a very vague topic. So if you see it was something like a funnel, but now it has become more like a bee, honeybee comb, I'd say. Something like this. It goes up and there's awareness, there's consideration, decision purchase, and so on and so forth. And the customer just delves, goes up, down, here and there, and then in between they abandon the decision making and probably it has become as complex as one can imagine. And we put in a line to say how it goes. I mean, this is an arbitrary line, it can go anywhere, anywhere. So, where does it lead us to? Clearly, it leads us to a gap. How we are approaching, how customers are anticipating, and in between them, there is a big gap. We try to quantify this gap in terms of what are the aspects of it. And everybody can have their own version, but see, there's a context gap, there's a relevance gap, there's a convenience gap, there's a responsive gap, and there's a consistent gap. Even if you, you do everything all right, 
the customer expects you to actually do it every time repeatedly. If you don't, then probably there's an issue. And we actually go back to the certain statements that uh, 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 the data that I had said. 59% of them are willing to try new brands. And if you don't do it consistently, well, we all have a problem. Now, very quickly, I mean, uh, there are various ways to address this customer engagement and uh, clearly technology is, is, is one of them and, and uh, it has evolved in a way to address the concerns. There were first generation front office uh, solutions and there were second generation and on what we have is only channel engagement platform and initially we were all marketing, sales, commerce and they were all in silos. For example, if somebody had a cell phone connection from a company A and if they had three connections then he would probably be treated as three different customers. Now, quickly as I summarize, what I'm intended to say is that as solutions have evolved, they treat you like an individual. You are not an anonymous a person in a, in a segmented group. You are, I mean, today's technology, they act seamlessly. They are able to identify you as an individual and they are able to talk to you as an individual and they are trying to try to address you as an individual. It's pretty much possible. And in SAP parlance, this is what we call it as marketing to an audience of one. If we don't know you, then we don't market to you. Or we cannot market to you then. Now, this is how we approach customer engagement and I will leave it here because it's, it will probably take a lot of time and uh, that was in nutshell a summary of what I wanted to say uh, on behalf of SAP. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for